Okay, now we're gonna replace um, a spiral cable. And this is a Toyota um, Yaris, and this is what a spiral cable looks like. You get it off eBay. It's obviously a little part in a brown box, and that's what it looks like. It's not too scary. It's got a couple connectors on it, and that's the part we're gonna replace inside there. Um, this will be a hopefully a 10 minute, 12 minute video. Um, these are the tools you're gonna need. Well, <laughs> I'm using this to pull up the steering wheel. That's um, I think it's a three quarter inch uh, nut driver right there. And typical flathead screwdriver. And a little star screwdriver. And a Torx T25 or T25. And that pulls off two more little things. So that's all your parts and let's see if we can get this done in a few minutes here. Um, first what you want to do is take off these two shrouds right here. And the best way to do that is with your Phillips number two. And there are, by the way, <laughs> um, probably keep your keys handy because you're going to have to, you don't want the noise making happen. Okay, right here, there's um, one right here on the steering column, as well as one on the opposite side. Save your screws somewhere. And I'll have to attach the key to turn the steering wheel because it's got a lock. That. I'll do this side right here as well. It's exactly the same on the other side. You won't see it. Let me play. I'll put that down there. And the other one is right underneath here. So you might want to get down here and look for it. It's somewhere around here. I'll probably have to get my head down a little lower. Somewhere down here. right there and that's only three screws they're all Phillips hang on to the shroud around the steering column and then you just merely grab it and pull it apart you won't see there's a lot of dust inside there it might be a good time to clean that up got to straighten my steering wheel to pull the other the top shroud off because it's just kind of blocking it by the way at this point straighten your steering wheel so it's going straight, the tires are straight out the front, because when you install your component, the uh, spiral cable, they should be, um, the, steering, the steering wheel should be straight and the wheel should be straight so that the component goes in correctly. It's kind of uh, timed or it has a home position as they call it. The next part you want to do is pulling off the, the center horn section or the, the airbag. And there are two screws. They're both Torx T25. And they are right in here. You would have to actually maybe look in um, there before you try and get in. But there are one on each side. Um, I'll do this one with a little key here. This is actually a Torx as well. On this little control where you hold my press up there. There it is. Okay. Um, when you put it back on, it should be torqued down to a point where you feel that it's about as much as you had pulled it off. I can't remember how many foot pounds it is, but it's only a horn, it's not the critical steering wheel. There's one off, obviously, on the other side. There, if you look inside here, there's a, a batch of yellow wires, and a, or yeah, it will be yellow. And this one right here, this is actually the horn right here, and you want to just disconnect that, as well as on the opposite side here, not right here. You want to take these two off. And what you do is you just pull these two yellow things up, um, like that, and like that, and it's disconnected. So, now what's left is to pull the whole steering wheel off, and that's that nut right there. At this point, the steering wheel should be straight, and if you have a three-quarter inch 
driver, that's great. I happen to not have one, so I've got this. Now, um, best thing to do is just turn it until this, the, uh, the wheel locks at some point, like that. And then you have something to pull, push against, and you can remove the nut. What I'm going to do is re-straighten this steering wheel back to home position, which is neutral, before I pull it off, okay? Which is right, right about, what do you think, is that about straight right there? Okay, so now it's straight, so I will remember when I put it back in that that's exactly where straight is right there. Okay. Now, this right here is your, your spiral cable that you want to pull off. You see these two little garbage cans, or whatever they are right there? That has a little notch there, timed with that notch there. So this one that, that I'm going to remove should time with the other one. But first I'm going to remove these two connectors right here. This white one, which I'm going to use my little flathead screwdriver finally, and lift up on this little tab right here. Yeah, you may not see it. Oh, okay. And it comes off. I think that's... Uh... Now this yellow one here, you actually approach from this side here, opposite side of where I just was, and there's a little tab you want to flip down like that, and then it just comes up like that. Those are the two locking points for these two things. Now, this right here, to remove this spiral cable, there's three points right here, plastic little clips, one here, and two right here, and right here. So I just pop those two, pop this one, and the whole thing comes out. Okay, so remember these, this little keyed notch right here? I'm gonna take the next one, find the little garbage cans where they are, <laughs> and we'll drop it in like this, and let the little clips right here, these two, drop in, this one right here, drop in, and pull this tab off. Well, the steering wheel, of course, is at home position, and these two are keyed in home position as well. What I want to do now, put my steering wheel back on. We're in, in the mode of going back together. So I put this like this, making sure it's as close to center as possible. And sometimes that's a little fiddly, but that's not bad. Do it right the first time. Um, grab the little nut that I pulled on, and I'll put it back on. And remember where I dropped it. Oh, here it is. Oh, wait, I forgot something. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not. Um, so, this yellow clip goes back on first, right? So, I slide this back on. Remember, um, sometimes these things that you put back on will, um, if you put it on crooked, you will bend a pin, okay? Um, I, the first uh, clock spring or spiral cable I did, I did actually bend a pin when I put these things back on. I had to come back all the way in and straighten the pin with a pair of tweezers. So don't do what I did. When you push it on, just make sure these connectors are solid and make sure the pins aren't being bent out of shape. Okay, so this goes back on like that. This is in home position, that's great. Um, little nut goes back on. Inch driver. Uh, I'll just spin this over until it clicks in so I have something to push against. And torque it down to 200,000 foot pounds. Not really. Okay, so um, let me straighten this steering wheel again. Just so I have something that looks familiar to work with. And I'm back into doing this part right here. So I will want to. Pop these little things out of here, like so, and like so, so I can get them back on here. Red one, or the orange one goes on the orange, like this. Black one goes on the black, like this. And you push these things in like this. And the little horn gadget goes in here. Goes 
clicking like that, but normally clicking like that, just double check, get everything right. Okay. Great. Now, this right here, when you put your um, your horn column back on or your um, airbag, just make sure that you slide that in first. Yeah. And, <laughs> you know it's working. And I will put my two little torque screws back in there. <laughs> 